All right, good morning, everyone. So, just about three months ago, I think I told everyone that uh, heating and air conditioning system, the heater actually worked very well. The air conditioner was just, every year we're putting money into it, which is, is completely fine. Don't take that as a bad thing. You know, some people say, oh, I'm always putting money into it. I'm always doing this. I'm always doing that. So what? So if you look at the cost of what a new air conditioning system costs, or financing a new air conditioning system, right? You always putting money into it isn't a bad thing. Man, I look weird with my hair cut off. So, I purchased this home uh, 18 years ago. Um, and it's always been thermostat issue after thermostat issue, which, you know, it's no big deal. It's always giving me problems, right? So, I, what do I do? Place the thermostat, replace the thermostat, maintenance the filters myself. Uh, it's had a couple motherboards replaced over the years, which I don't think that was the, the play, the actual problem, um, because we just kept having problems with it. So eventually the compressor, the condenser, condensing unit outside is just decaying away and suffering and suffering, suffering. And I just figured it was like 300, maybe three to 500 hours a year for the past 10 years I put in that. So what is that? 10 times? five is five thousand right still cheaper than a whole entire ac system so i nursed it along that long so finally i just made the choice and said all right i understand sometimes certain things that are 25 or 30 years old um just can't be fixed anymore i do understand that so they're like hey we can just replace the condensing unit for x amount of money or we can just replace the air conditioning or we can do the heat in there i said listen it's not that i can't afford it um, but I think, in my opinion, that sometimes certain things are past their mechanical limits. Even though the heater worked well, it's a gas furnace. Um, so we had them replace it. And, of course, we didn't haggle. We didn't ask for a coupon. We didn't ask for a discount. Um, and then I opted to pay for an additional warranty on it. Um, so the first week, they had to come back and fix a leak for the uh, condensation line. Uh, so that's one and then they've been back one two three three more times since then with issues and we don't know if it's completely resolved so the the, the first the, the after the condensation line leak was fixed in the basement um, we noticed that after the heat wave it wasn't cooling very well so they come back and they said, oh, well, it's a little low. And I'm like, what do you mean it's a little low? It's a brand new system. It shouldn't be a little low. Now, I know in the industry over a period of time, your refrigerant will pass through pass through lines and seals and be a little low. But not when you have a hard line system. It should not have any issues. So he's like, oh, I'm going to put sealer and die. And I was like, all right, hold on, dude. I do HVAC work on automobiles and it's almost the same thing that you deal with every day almost identical other than yours doesn't have wheels on it so i said i don't want you to put seal on it you can put dye in it and then we'll go from there so then uh it's okay and then we're like all right well why is the fan running inside the house after the condensing unit shuts off and it's running for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and, hours. and then we bump the thermostat up one degree and then it shuts off i'm like what is commanding what and this is what i said to the guy when he came in i said what is commanding the fan to after run after it exercises it's off for the ac compressor and condenser and he really wasn't sure i'm like well something's commanding it to do that you know it's either the thermostat programming and i know some new cars have an after run feature in some of these newer cars, which I haven't seen one yet, but I've seen it in the data stream and uh, for cars. So I'm like, all right, well, why is it doing that? So is there a relay on a printed circuit board sticking? You know, what's going on? So he doesn't know. So uh, he recommended replacing the thermostat. And I was like, all right, well, I've had nothing with thermostat issues for 18 years in this house. Did they replace the wiring to the thermostat when they put the new unit in? I don't think they did. 
so I said, listen, I don't care what it costs, replace the wiring to the unit. We bought a new thermostat, put it in. They do all that. Um, and then he's out checking everything. He's like, there's a, there's a leak in the system. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wasn't home to see where the leak was, but why is there a leak? I didn't get into it. So they fixed, <clears throat> supposedly fixed the leak. So, so far we haven't heard the, uh, the fan run. It wasn't doing it during, it wasn't doing it at night, only during the day. And then when we're sleeping, who do we, how do we really know? But I would say I was, I was hoping for a more reduced cost in my electric bill. But with all the issues with the air conditioner, it's, it was has, it hasn't shown me a bit of efficiency yet. So hopefully now that it it's fixed, you know, three months later, four visits. <clears throat> so is it the industry of parts like I'm dealing with, or is it a combination of both? Your technicians who are installing your products don't have any product knowledge uh, of their of their equipment. You know, are they trained on that stuff? I don't I don't know. Um, products product issues and product knowledge issues and you know, that I mean that could be an issue for what they're, they're primarily dealing with so they said they were going to order a new motherboard uh just in case we had a problem so i mean new wiring another new thermostat fix the ac leak um and let's see what happens but you hvac guys out there having issues now i'll tell you we've used some reman climate controllers for cars that they don't make, they're obsolete for climate controllers, which is stupid for cars that are 10 years old. And the reman ones suck. They're worse than what we're taking out. And if they do fix the problem, it fixes it for a couple days. So uh, are you guys in the HVAC business having the same issues, that, the same luck we are? Thanks for watching.